get right into the passage, kind of a long one, and it's old. So let's not get too worried about weird words. People who desire whose people whose desire is solely for self-realization never know where they are going. They can't know. In one sense of the word, it is of course necessary to know oneself. That is the first achievement of knowledge. But to recognize that the soul of a man is unknowable is the ultimate achievement of wisdom. The final mystery is oneself. When one has weighed the sun in the balance and measured the steps of the moon and mapped out the seven heavens star by star, there still remains oneself. Who can calculate the orbit of his own soul? Ugh, deep. You know, I don't know. I don't. I barely get it. Uh, but seems to be reiterating everything that goes on here. It's kind of just talking about knowing yourself, I guess. I don't know. Let's take a look at the choices. It reinforces the text's skepticism about the possibility of truly achieving self-knowledge. So... The one thing that does bother me with this choice, and, and it's it's not necessarily wrong, but it 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 worries me because I've seen the SAT do this before. A lot of times they'll have like words, like they'll have a question like they do here, and then they'll use words like skepticism or the word question or the word ask, think words that we associate with a question mark. So I look at that, I'm like, okay, is it really skepticism or is it just me falling for a trap? Well, let's take a look, right? Reinforces, I'm, I'm good with, right? They seem to be repeating this, this idea of like knowing thyself and all these things. So main ideas are repeated ideas. It seems to be keep coming up. It's coming up back in the, in the question. Seems like that's okay. So is it skepticism about truly achieving self-knowledge? Uh, I guess they can't know, right? Um, people who desire solely for self-realization never know where they are going. Um, but to recognize the soul of a man is unknowable. So I guess they are saying that like, knowing yourself is hard. I, I don't know. I guess I barely understand this to, to really prove it wrong or right, but let's move on. Let's see what B says. It speculates that some readers will share the doubts expressed in the text about the value of self-knowledge. Well, it's hard for a question to speculate, right? A speculation is a guess. So if you're questioning, how are you guessing? So I don't think it's speculating. Um, and yeah, did they say something that's shot some other readers? I don't think so. I don't think we're bringing them in. It seems to just be Oscar Wilde talking this whole time. So this seems just wrong. See, it cautions, ooh, I don't love that, cautions readers that the text directions for how to achieve self-knowledge are hard to follow. Well, does he give directions for achieving self-knowledge? I think the whole point is that you can't have self-knowledge, right? Like the, the final mystery is oneself. It seems like it's contradictory to what they're saying. And cautions, right? That's such a negative word. Who can calculate the orbit of his own soul? Is that really negative? You, you might not have a good sense of what it even means, but I feel like if it were negative like that, we would know. So this just feels off from connotation reasons. D, it concedes that the definition of self-knowledge advanced in the text is unpopular. I have no idea what other people think. This is actually a word that strikes me as a quantifier right? Uh, it seems to be saying lots of people believe something. I, I have no idea. This is one author's opinion. And concedes, that word uh, means kind of like something like gives in or even like agree, but agree in a reluctant way. It doesn't seem like this is an agreement of anything. It's, it is a question. So I, I think I was a little nervous about choice A because I, I have seen traps like that before, but there wasn't really anything else that it could be. And so, you know, mission accomplished. And it does seem skepticism, right? It's asking a question, who can calculate the orbit of his own soul? I guess it's a rhetorical question. And, and maybe the idea is that no one can, based on everything else Oscar Wilde says before that. But um, yeah, some, something to just think about is be careful when they ask questions and then they ask you what the purpose is. It might not be actually to be skeptical or question something. It might have a deeper purpose. But here, it's pretty face value.